Hey folks, Matt from RightOfTheImage.com. Canon has announced quite a few cameras lately, and one of them that I think seems to have slipped under the radar is the Canon Rebel T100 or 4000D, depending on where you are in the world. Um, this is Canon's lowest price DSLR to date, that I'm aware of anyways. Uh, it's supposed to be coming in at around 385 US. Uh, that's for body only. Now, uh, for those of you that aren't aware of this, it's an 18 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor. So that's the older Rebel sensor that was in a lot of the, the cameras. Like I believe the T6i had that and um, going back quite a ways. So that they, they used that sensor for quite a few iterations of the Rebels. And even the 70D, the Canon 70D, which I'm a big favorite of. Um, obviously, I like the 80D now. It's been replaced. It, but the 70D is still a good option. It had a very similar sensor. It's a 20 megapixel sensor, but they were very similar sensors, 18 to 20. It was 2 megapixel difference. So basically, what I think Canon is doing here is building a fairly competent but extremely low-priced DSLR to corner the absolute low end of the market and to convince people or to make the barriers to entry relatively low, $385 for a uh, body only for a DSLR to step up from your cell phone or your point and shoot. You know, an 18 megapixel um, Digic 4 processor, you got up to 6400 ISO, you got full HD 1080p up to 30 frames per second, you got three frames per second continuous shooting, nine point autofocus, you got a 2.7 inch 920K dot uh, LCD monitor, you got uh, the intelligent auto mode, creative filters, Wi-Fi. It's not a bad offering, at least at first glance. Now, um, one of the big things that I have concerns about this camera is it has a plastic lens mount. That right away does not sit well with me. I understand you've got to cut corners somewhere to lower costs. But if we go over to a um, SL2, which, as you know, I've been shooting a lot lately, uh, reviewed it here, and I'm a big fan of, you could pick up an SL2 body only for 550 And then you're into the newest, latest and greatest 24 megapixel sensor. So you're not going back to the 18. For 650 you can actually get it with the 18 to 55 IS STM lens. You've got really good dual pixel autofocus. You've got a bigger 3-inch uh, very angle touchscreen LCD. You've got full... Uh, 60 PHD, you've got a microphone in, you've got Digic 7, which is a more advanced processor. I mean, you basically essentially got a mini 80D here, and that's why I love the SL2, why I've been having so much fun with it, is it's small, it's compact, it's lightweight, it's a very, very capable camera. And I guess my thoughts are for the little bit of extra money here, I think the better option is to get the SL2. I understand Canon wants to have an ultra low price point, but 385 versus 549. You could also pick it up as an Amazon warehouse deal. Somebody's returned it. It's open box item, like open box in a store. You could get it as a refurb, and you could get a used one for less than that. And I guess I just think that you're getting a lot more with the SL2 versus what you're getting out of this new uh, T100 4000D. I think there's a lot better specs in the SL2, and I think for me, almost anybody I would encourage to step up, find that little bit of extra cash, and step into an SL2 than to get this T100 4000D. It just seems a very underspecced camera, despite the low price. So I wanted to throw that back to you guys. What do you guys think? Is it uh, a good thing? Do you think that was a good move of Canon's? Do you think there are still people that should consider a T100 or 4000D? Or do you lean more towards what I'm saying, that, yeah, step into an SL2, get a used 70D, buy something, a better camera, for a very close price and just get a lot more camera for your money. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Let me think. Let me know if you think there's a place for the Rebel T100, the 4000D. Or would you rather them see somebody that's considering that step into an SL2 for the little bit of extra money, as I'm suggesting? Just curious to hear what your feedback is. Uh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm off base here. Maybe you guys in general think that there's a lot of people that... Uh, would be better served by this low price point camera just to get into the system. Let me know in the comments below. Interested to hear what you have to say and uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.